Hello darling, I'm Liz. I am the mother of a two-year-old and a four-year-old and I am a survivor. What I'm here to talk to you a little bit about today is a method that worked wonderfully for me. Now, there are lots of different ways to calm a crying baby and this is for mamas of easy babies who maybe just cry now and then, but I'll tell you what, the fussing still takes a toll on a mama's heart. Um, and I wanna take you back with me, so come along and let's hop in my time machine to a little more than four years ago. I had my first child, a little girl, and I wanted a baby desperately. I didn't happen to have any mom friends. I didn't have any family in town, gasp. I was not in a mops group. And I had a baby who cried and cried. So one night in the middle of an all night crying jag, I stumbled upon something on the internet that for me felt very life changing and I wanna share it with you now. This is my stunt baby, clearly not the real thing, but play along. So what I found was the happiest baby on the block system or method, if you wanna call it, by Dr. Harvey Kirk. Now this is something that you can pick up a book on. It's called The Happiest Baby on the Block. You can purchase a DVD. My husband and I did both. You can also find tons of demonstrations on YouTube of exactly how this method works. So I am going to go through something called the five S's with you rather quickly, but I encourage you to hop online and do a little more research. See if this is a method that will work for you and you'll get a better idea of just exactly how these methods will work. So let's start with S number one, swaddle. This baby is already swaddled nice and tight. And the next S is suck. Babies have a suck mechanism and it's so comforting for them. So I encourage you and talk to your pediatrician about this. Absolutely use a pacifier, super soothing for the baby. So we've got her swaddled. She's got a little pretend pacifier here. The next step is side lie. So you've got your baby in your arms, kind of like the football hold here comfortably tucked into your elbow on her side. And the next step, and take my word for it, this is gonna seem a little funny, but when you watch it demonstrated with a real baby, it is a powerful thing that works so wonderfully with my little one, is shush. Shh. You wanna make a shushing sound directly into the baby's ear, and as strange as that sounds, it is a wonderful switch to stop the crying. It's almost a distraction for the baby. So the next step that we've got is something called swing. Now I'm not referring to an infant swing. This is holding the baby in your arms. We've got the side line position and it's a little bit of a jiggle is the best way that I can describe it. So here we've got baby and when I say swing, what I mean is this little bit of a jiggle and their little heads almost jiggle side to side. It's not a violent shaking motion by any means, just a gentle kind of a shake. And the interesting thing is this is similar to them of being in the womb. So it's a super comforting feeling like when they were still in the womb and that's what it feels like when you give them this little bit of a jiggle. So I'm just gonna set my stuck baby aside here. Now I'll tell you what I highly recommend, especially if you're an expectant mommy, take a look at this philosophy before your little one arrives. Sit down with your husband, read the book together, watch it on YouTube, share it with, your grandparents, your brothers and sisters, potential babysitters, maybe even the next door neighbor just to be safe because it is a miraculous thing for helping soothe little ones when they are newborn up through really even five or six months. So I hope that this is something that works for you and helps you have not only the happiest baby on the block, but the happiest baby in your home.